for any filtration process, the most important element is, well, the filter element. And it's no different when it comes to filtration of oils in various lubricating and hydraulic systems in your plant. This video will explain the difference between a surface filter and a depth filter. While a depth filter certainly offers a better solution for oil filtration, we will also understand why a true density depth filter does not really offer the best solution. The choice of the filter element is mainly based on two factors. A. The particulate size removal threshold, which is the largest size of the particle that we can let pass through the filter and go on to the system. B. Its efficiency, which is decided by the particle it retains compared with the particle it lets pass. So for a 99% efficiency, we will still have 1% of the particles passing on to the other side. In case of oils, this will be a major factor deciding the resultant NAS number of the oil. The simplest way to begin understanding the filtration process is to visualize a simple surface filter. This is just a sheet of say, paper, fabric or nylon. The mesh size of the sheet will decide the particle size removal threshold. So if we use a 10 micron mesh size, particles above 10 microns will be retained and the particles smaller than this will pass through. But then, as the holes on the mesh start getting used up by the particles, lesser and lesser area is available for further flow and eventually the sheet will get completely clogged, stopping the flow altogether and rendering it useless. The amount of dirt retained by the filter at this point is its maximum dirt holding capacity. However, this is only in theory. What happens in reality is that the pressure drop across the filter starts increasing as the filter gets progressively clogged. When the pressure drop is excessively high, the process needs to be stopped and the filter replaced. The effective dirt holding capacity thus is substantially lower. The dirt holding capacity will be decided by the surface area of the filter. As we lower the micron size of the mesh, larger will be the area required for the filter, as it will clog faster. We can increase the dirt holding capacity by increasing the surface area. This is what's done in conventional filters by packing in a lot more of the filter element in a given space. Most inline pressure filters for hydraulic or lubricating systems are of this type and the micron size is decided based on the tolerances of mainly the servo control valves and other critical components of the system. They work very well for the purpose which is to safeguard the system. But going down on the micron size reduces the dirt holding capacity and the filter gets clogged and needs replacement more frequently and this is expensive. The dirt holding capacity becomes the most important factor when it comes to finding an economic solution for oil filtration. Another way to get more surface area is to add layers of the element sheet upon sheet. If we add enough number of sheets, the filter becomes thicker with multiple layers in its depth. This then becomes what is called a depth filter. The easiest way to do this will be to wind the sheet spirally till the required depth is achieved. However, there is still a problem with this. The micron size of all the layers across the depth is the same, making this a true or constant density depth filter. The outer layers get clogged first with larger particles, blocking further flow. So, the additional surface area that we built in is practically useless. So then, what's the perfect filter solution for oil filtration? The next video in this series of filtration facts offers the answer to this question. To know more about the impact of oil and its quality on the productivity of your plant and for answers to all your oil filtration related queries, please get in touch with us. Thank you for watching.